Welcome to your 10-minute yoga practice, where today we're focused on fixing pain in the rhomboids, those muscles that help connect the shoulder blades to the rib cage and spine. And this is going to be really great for any tension or knots in the upper back as well. So let's begin on our backs with the feet planted, knees pointing upwards. Extend your arms straight up, make the hands into fists, and then exhale to pull the elbows down in line with the shoulders, and inhale to release. So we're exhaling to make a long line with both elbows and both shoulders, and we're inhaling to re-straighten the arms up above us and open the hands. Take this a few times at the pace of your breath. What we're doing here is really bringing attention, waking up this area, strengthening it before we stretch. This will make our practice even more effective today. And then give those arms a bit of a shake. Nicely done. Bring the palms together. Now flex the hands so just the heels of the hands are touching. And once more, we'll open the arms, this time bringing the fingertips to touch in line with the shoulders and then bringing the heels of the hands back together above us. So the arms stay straight the entire time for this one. Maybe harder than it looks. Again, not rushing, really feeling into the area and then releasing, beautiful. Roll your way over to one side. We're coming towards kneeling, so no rush getting there. Going to sit back towards the heels with the knees apart about as wide as your yoga mat. Plant the palms of the hands in a few cat-cows here. So inhaling to arch and exhaling to round, really involving the entire spine, taking your gaze up on the inhale and the chin towards the chest with your exhale. So this is an area that can get very tight for so many of us, depending on posture habits, if we spend a lot of time sitting. And then bring yourself up to a more traditional all fours position. Inhale your left arm up towards the sky and exhale to slide it underneath you, coming towards threaded needle. And here I encourage you to close the eyes. You can keep the right hand planted. The left palm is facing the ceiling, the hips are above the knees. And softly release back to all fours. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale to slide it underneath for our second side. And on these deep stretches, I encourage you to think about directing your deep breaths towards the area where you feel sensation. It might be between the shoulder blades, might be somewhere in the upper back. Just invite those areas to release. You can press back up to all fours. Once you're there, center your left palm and swing the right arm in front of the left. We'll take a few more cat cows from here. So again, inhaling to arch and exhaling to round. See if you can keep the elbows really straight here. And just a few more. Really exaggerating this movement with the whole spine involved. And then release. Give yourself a little bit of a shake before we switch sides. Center the right palm, left arm swings in front for a few more cat cows. So the elbows are straight, palms of the hands are roughly in line with one another, it's just that the left forearm is crossed in front. And this might feel quite different on one side versus the other, depending on where your pain or tension resigns as we let that go. Back to all fours, and from here, pull the right elbow up alongside your ribs. We'll take that three times, and then on the fourth time, extend the right arm back alongside the body, and bend the left elbow. Set your right palm down, same thing other side. So one, two, and three times, bending the left elbow up alongside your rib cage. On the fourth one, extend that left arm back 
and bend the right el elbow straight back. And release. One more time each side. Right elbow goes back. Two and three times. And then a fourth time. Stretch that right arm far back behind you. Bend the left elbow down. Re-straighten. Set the right hand down. Left elbow goes up. Two. One more time. And then last time, extend that left arm back behind you as far as it'll go as you bend the right elbow and come back to all fours. Really nice. Make your way to a comfortable seated position with the legs out in front of you. Keep the left leg long. Help the sole of the right foot up and over that left leg as we inhale the left arm up tall and exhale to press the left elbow against the outside of your knee. So coming to a seated twist here, looking over your back shoulder. Think about the crown of the head reaching tall and maybe twisting a little deeper with your exhales. Final breath here. And let that go. Coming to the other side might give the legs and the neck a little bit of a shake first. And then the right leg will stay long. The left foot stamps to the outside of the other leg. Inhale the right arm up and exhale to find your twist. So again, it's worth noticing in these stretches where we feel them. Just by showing up on the mat today, you've done something good for yourself. You deserve a little pat on the back. Don't worry if you don't get every movement perfectly the first time around. You can always come back to this practice a few times a week for the best results. On your next exhale, you can let that stretch go. We'll come to a comfortable seat of your choice. Roll the shoulders back. And then bring your left hand behind your head as you punch the right arm forwards. Pull the right elbow back as you twist towards the right and then return. So again, we're swinging ourselves from the center towards the right, and the elbow is moving backwards and then re-straightening. This is a great strengthening move for this area in order to avoid pain and tension in the future. And let that go, shake the shoulders out. Right hand comes behind the head, punch the left hand forwards, and same thing, we're twisting left this time, associating the twist with the pull back of the elbow, seeing if we can find a little bit more range every time we twist. Doing really well. I know these movements are challenging. Let's just try one more on this side. And then let that go. Again, give yourself a little bit of a shake. Roll the shoulders back. Switch the cross of the legs if that's how you were seated. And clasp the hands in front of the chest to punch them forwards, bringing the chin towards the chest, really rounding through the upper back as much as you can. So we'll hold here for a few deep breaths. Think about releasing through the jaw and the neck. Arms are straight out in front of the heart. And let that go. And then bring the right arm across the body. Hook onto it with your left elbow. And rather than making this a super passive stretch like we might normally, think about using that left arm to encourage the right arm a little bit further. You might even come into a slight twist here. So really find the sensation that feels good in your body. And as we let that go and roll the shoulders back, we'll see how the second side feels. Left arm across the body, hooking onto it, and using that right arm to perhaps find just a little bit more range. You can experiment with coming in and out of a slight twist just to find that magical spot that feels best for you. 
Beautiful, let's release. Shake out the neck a little bit, allow yourself a smile. All together, let's inhale the arms up overhead and exhale to let them find heart center. Beautifully done. I hope your upper back feels wonderful. And to continue releasing through this area, I really encourage you to join my free challenge for the upper body. You can find the link on screen or in the description box of this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more practices that will help you feel and move better and have a wonderful day.